Okay. We're talking about how to create if ticket types with events, right? Of course, that is the desired user interface in some cases. So here you can do something like this: event equals event dot what create event params as usual. Obviously, you have to define this guy, right? But here it doesn't. Nothing prevents you from having ticket types, and then you can do h. And then in here, you can have like, you know, name and quantity, right? Max quantity. So how does it work? So you can actually have this ticket type submitted in the form. So how do we make that happen? Uh, for example, you can have form for, in the view, you have form for event. Because form four, then you have f, right? Anything that you do f dot, you know, text field name, anything that is this will lead to submitting things to param event name. Make sense? But if you use something like text field tag, let's say ticket type, let's say name, then this gives you this give you, this will submit ticket type name. Does that make sense? Right? But then you want multiple. So there is a way you can actually do uh, for each one of them. You can actually do something like the first type, ticket type one, and then you do name. This is just HTML. This is like input. This is the name of the field you've submit. So you start with zero. You can do it yourself like that, and then inside, then you you get ticket type is uh, an array. That is an array. So this is now is an array. Some people pass this as a non-zero one to put it actually as something else like name and stuff. Then it becomes so let me copy this. If you do this, name and just that, and then the second one, oops, it's the second one as, and then it, it is an ha a hash, right? Max quantity. Then it's, this is a, a hash. General idea. Does that make sense? general idea it means over here the HTML version of this line is very easy you can type you know in your head uh, uh, right name is what no it's actually event name so that when it submit it submit to params event name right so form form it does that and of course what is this value this value is, if you don't have anything, it's actually, this value is actually this event dot name. So if you have an event that already exists, right, it will give that value to this guy. That's it, that's an input element. So that this is, you can type this yourself, or you can type this. Shorter, everyone can understand, right? If you use simple form four, then you know yeah, you can just set f dot input, and then that give you the label and the name, up to you. Okay, but usually knowing your form four is good enough. All right. Now, of course, it seems that like that, but I just need to you to understand the general idea in this syntax. When you look at how Rails does it, you can learn more how uh, you know the, the magic is done and you can do it yourself so use rails uh, nested form support so what it, what does it do so soon you will be able to learn this form for event I haven't taught this but you can you know do it yourself you can do fields for fields for ticket type do and then here is let's say you call it field 
okay and what is in here field dot text field let's say max quantity all right you still have f dot submit whoa does it seem confusing <coughs> no it's so what is this line right what is the html version of this does anyone know so input name is what's the name of this input event ticket type because that's a field and then max quantity right now if you do instead of text field you can say number field email field and then here then you have this thing called type instead of type text then it become type number then you know the browser HTML5 support it does that so when you press submit it just parse the string and you have these params in your log file or when you crash the browser so when I save the email it is save, also save the ticket when, when not yet it submit now when it submit this it means in here you can actually either in the controller right you can actually have this event and ticket type okay now here's the okay this is it may be too much but you can just submit and then just do this yourself it's the hash anyway so just do if you name this as ticket types okay because it should be more than one right just feel free to just do it yourself like you know each do and in here you just create the object that may be better however if you okay this is the question ask me if you uh, you know are confused but you probably will, will be confused so if you say accept nested attributes for ticket type if you do this and this one has hey this one is it's a bit a lot of magic and some people say people should remove this from rails and some say keep it it's wonderful it uh, help you um, you know write really little code and everything will work but when you abuse it when you use it to for so many fields it will be impossible to be debug and then you know all the expert people hate it for example for myself I don't use it if I don't have to it's better to create more model and objects okay so we are at the you know within eight weeks you can learn this now because you have this accept nested attributes for and when you do this ticket types it will load all the event dot ticket types so it can create more than one fields for so then you can see one two three four and then it will submit if you do this it actually submit to params event who knows this ticket types attributes so if I do it myself then I can just say feel for and pass in the string and it can nest that for me but if you use accept nested attributes then it convert everything into this this thing and then when of course under if you do that already then under um, event params you have to require uh, event permit of course you permit a few things here so I say name but then now you have to permit ticket type attribute and in that then you also permit uh, max quantity and such so you, you just permit it in different levels so this is totally awesome very easy to understand uh, but it can be it can backfire if you don't use it properly so you need definitely learn it but just know that it's not always the best sometimes I like it when someone understand and just do it yourself using the hash it's better it's good practice for you right just relying on the magic and then when it doesn't work you have you use it you have to understand it so you can fix it when it's really strange so I put my class event controller here is 
you know, event params has to be like this, okay? Now there's another way, maybe 2C, and maybe the option 3. Why don't we just allow people to create a ticket first, I know, an event first, and then they, on the same page, you can create ticket type by JavaScript. So it's a click and create, click create. That's the best way. And that's what we're learning today. All right, you can use what we learned today to implement something like that. Okay? All right. So 